Welcome, my name is Mrs. Burton, and I'm here today to talk to you about the history of wireless technologies. Our students today are growing up with wireless technologies. Most of them have not even experienced a world without wireless. No one really thinks about how our devices work or communicate with one another to access all the information that is available on the web. We are so used to talking on smartphones, looking up directions on our iPad, and shopping online for things needed at home. Technology is now so inexpensive that it is available to the masses. But who is responsible for giving us all these tools? It's not the generation of scientists kids or kids are growing up with today. It all started with men from the 1700s. It all began with Benjamin Franklin, the famous scientist who discovered electricity. In 1747, Franklin created a model of electricity that proved that it could move through air. Then in 1819, Danish physicist Christian Oersted found that a compass needle would move in the presence of an electric field. The discovery established the fundamental relationship between electricity and magnetism. Scientists today refer to this as electromagnetic. James Clerk Maxwell, a brilliant Scottish physicist, then discovered that electromagnetic waves move through space. Using the knowledge from Maxwell, Heinrich Hertz invented the oscillator, an alternating current generator, and created radio waves. The credit for radio and its transmissions goes to Guglielmo Marconi, who journeyed from Italy to England to show British telegraph authorities what he had developed. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1909 for this amazing invention. This was only the beginning of the many brilliant men who worked together to bring wireless technologies to us today.